Alrighty, so welcome back. Today I am going to be making a um, recipe that I found on another channel and I'm going to be linking the original recipe below. And um, what it is, is it's a easy chocolate cake and I'm going to be making a basic ganache and it's a microwave cake. And it's um, non-dairy, because I'm non-dairy, so I'm going to make that and see how it turns out because this is the first time I've made it. Okay, so I've got all the ingredients out for the cake and ganache. So we've got the warm water, very warm. We've got the chocolate chips for and almond milk for the ganache. This is dairy free. We've got the olive oil, the cocoa powder, the flour, the baking powder, and the sugar, and we are going to sift that. So we're going to get out our little thing where we dump the ingredients in. We've got one and a half cups of flour pre-measured out there where I dump it all in. Loads going to fall through the beginning. Sort of dump that out. We're also going to put in the unsweetened cocoa powder and it is two thirds of it. Two thirds cup. And then the three teaspoons of the well, that made a little mess. Of the baking powder. And what we're going to do there is we're going to sort of shake it in. Just like this, so it all sort of sifts together. Okay, so I've got all of that in, and now I'm going to add my sugar, three-fourths cup of sugar. Then we're going to get our spoon, just go ahead and mix that together. And normally I would add a pinch of salt, but I'm going to make it exactly like the original recipe. Okay, so we're gonna mix that together. Then we're going to add the water first. And it's going to be warm water, and it's um, one cup plus three fourths cup plus two tablespoons. And apparently, warm water helps the cocoa powder taste better or something. So I'm going to mix that in. Pretty good, and we're going to add our um, half cup plus one tablespoon of oil. Okay, so boom. Okay, we're going to stir this together. Okay, so I've got the oil. I used olive oil mostly mixed in. Just going to stick on the sides. Make sure it gets all those lumps out and it's about how it was described. Very liquidy. So I am going to get out my two pans because I'm going to double layer it and get out my parchment paper. Okay, so I've got my two pans and in the original one it was one cake, but I'm going to double layer it. So I've got the sides oil, I've got the parchment paper in there, so I'm going to have to very carefully split it between the two bowls. I'm going to give it one more quick mix. Let's get this in.
Okay, so I've got all the stuff in now. I hope that it can get too much under that parchment paper. And I'm going to go get it in the microwave. One at a time. I'm going to start with three minutes. Okay, we're going to pull that out when it's in my quick. So it's been three minutes. I'm going to pull it out and check if it's done. It's got a huge sort of top thing. I'm not sure how well you can see that. I'm going to insert a toothpick to check if it's done. Okay, so I've got the toothpick. I'm going to see if it comes out clean. So it came out pretty clean. You can't see that very well, can you? It came out clean, sort of spongy, which is it's supposed to be. So I'm going to get the other one in the microwave, and we're going to pull that out, and we're going to pull them both out and layer. Okay, just pulled out the second one, and it took a lot longer. Like the top was not even done yet, and it's taken six and a half minutes, and it came out clean though. So. It's ready, and when it's cooling off, let's make the ganache. Okay, so we're adding our one cup chocolate chips, one part chocolate chips for the ganache. And we're going to then add another one part, so another cup of almond milk. And it is like really hot, not like right below boiling. And we're going to let it just sit there for one minute. Okay, so it's been a little over a minute, and I'm going to mix it and see what happens. Okay, so when we're waiting for the ganache to uh, cool off a bit, we are going to try to get these out without breaking them. Very carefully working my way around the edges. I try to oil these very well. Slide that one away. Okay, I'm going to go quickly grab another bit of parchment paper. Okay, so I've got some parchment paper on it. I'm going to see if it'll just, whoa, come out. It definitely came out. <laughs> whoa, as you can see, it left in the parchment paper. Not quite what I was expecting, but maybe that's a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to uh, flip it over in a second. Okay, so I've got flipped over. It's a little untidy still, so I might shave it, we'll see. Let's see how well the other one comes out. Okay, I'm going to try the same sort of method. Very gently. Going around the edges. Good, now let's see if this one will dump as well. Again, it just left in my hard work of parchment paper. It wasn't even necessary. So you've got that sort of scraggly sort of side again. It almost looks like wood. Cool. Then I'm going to uh, got a little bit on me there. But got that. So I'm going to probably trim up one side and I'm going to go check on the ganache. Okay. So, uh, it wasn't, the ganache was not done yet, so I'm going to very carefully, this is awesome knife, trim up this just a little.
I have never trimmed a cake before. So keep that in mind. There. Not perfect, but I bet another cake piece could rest on top of that. Get the other one. So you could rest on top of that, okay? Maybe not quite yet. But I'm going to trim the top one, I guess, and there's going to be the ganache and all to hold it together. There. So not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, so this time I'm going to trim the top, then uh, flip it over. So I'll have this um, sort of wood looking side. Can't see that. On the bottom. And it'll be covered in ganache. So, no spinach. But let's hope I can get this trim better than the last one. Okay, so this is what it sort of looks like before I do all the ganache and all that. Okay, so I got my first half. I'm gonna pour just a tiny bit. I got a rubber dapper. This is going to stick the two halves. Okay, that on. I'm going to pour on the rest. Good. Should like that all the way around. So, sure, make it go around there. Here's our cake. So here is the finished cake. It worked really well in the microwave. If I make it again, I might do a pinch of salt and half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of vanilla. But if you don't have that on hand. You can just make as is. So, looks really nice. I may have overdid it on the ganache. But, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Ruby Time.